In this lesson, I'm going to show you how easy it is to point, click, and create to build stunning edits instead of on one photo raw 2025. With this photo here, let's use a couple of AI editing tools instead of on one photo raw to bring some life into the scene. So first thing we're going to use is we're going to use Brilliance AI. Brilliance AI is automatically going to develop our basic tone and color sliders for us so that we can just jump right into either using local adjustments or styling with effects. And the great thing about Brilliance AI is it automatically detects individual regions within your photo and creates local adjustments for you. That way you can just use these sliders down here to modify them. Let's add in a little bit of color into the flora regions of our photo. And I'm also going to darken up the sky quite a bit here so that we can see some of those nice dark blues within that background. Now, don't worry if it's a little bit too dark. We're going to add in a dreamy glow filter later that will bring some life back into that background area. So now let's jump in and start styling with effects. And to do that, we're going to use Super Select AI, where we can just click on individual areas of our photo and we can style them. So I'm going to grab Super Select AI here within my tool well. It's this little icon there. I can now hover over individual areas of my photo. Let's start with the sky. I'm going to click on it, then I'll right click or secondary click to pull up this filter and adjustment menu. And let's add that glow filter. I'll use glow and let's use charge more strong. You can see with that applied, it brings in a nice dreamy backdrop to our ocean scene. Now with super select AI still enabled, I'm going to click on the sky another time. Now this time I'm going to go up here to this top tool modifier bar and I'm going to choose erase. That way it protects my sky from whatever adjustment or filter I apply next. So let's secondary click or right click. And I'm going to use the curves filter to bring in a contrast boost into my foreground. So now our foreground is matching up nicely with that background sky. One last thing with Super Select AI, let's grab these individual regions within our foreground here, these little island areas, and also this flora section within the foreground. And I'm going to right click, and I'll bring in dynamic contrast to add in a little bit of detail into those areas. And this is helping to just pop that texture within the trees and the flora. Last filter. We're going to add a vignette onto the entirety of our scene. And I'll use Big Softy here, and then we'll lower the opacity to make things look nice and natural. So let's check out our before. So we have before and after. So that's how easy it is to point, click, and create to build stunning edits using On One Photo Raw. Thanks so much for watching, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video for more tips and tricks.